How to add a shine animation effect to a PNG image logo file in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6. .6. Inside your project's edit window, hold and control or command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert your PNG logo image file. Find the thumbnail of the image file that you have inserted. Click on the clip attributes icon which appears in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail to identify the frame rate. Here in this example it is 24. Click on the thumbnail and drag to the timeline to insert your image. According to the red playhead positioned at the end of this edit, the total duration for this clip will be 5 seconds. With this edit selected, go to Inspector and underneath Video, scroll down the properties to find Dynamic Zoom. Activate this by clicking on the button to the left of this label. By default, the linear setting will apply a zoom out effect to this video. To change this to zoom in, I will click on the swap button underneath this so that a gentle zoom in effect is applied across the whole video clip. Now to apply the shine effect. Right click on your image edit and go to open Infusion page. With Media in one selected inside your notes panel, go to add a merge tool, which should be automatically connected to the yellow background arrow. This will be required so that we can apply the shine effect to the foreground later on. Deselect your nodes by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid and go to click and add a rectangle node. Select either the left or right view options underneath this node to see a preview of this rectangle shape inside the fusion window. This rectangular shape will make up the shine. With the node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls to reduce the opacity of this shape, decrease the value for level. Here in this example, I will decrease this to 0.575. To add feather to the edge of your shape, I will increase the value of soft edge to 0.001. Now adjust the width and height values depending on how big you wish for your shine effects to be. Here in this example, I will set the width of my rectangle to 0.0045. And to ensure that the rectangle spreads across the whole canvas, I will increment the height to two. To ensure that this rectangle appears diagonally, I will change the angle to minus 45. Disconnect your nodes, hold and shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the glow tool, select this and go to click on add. Click on the grey box next to rectangle 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow representing the input to glow 1, so that a vibrancy effect can be applied to our rectangle. With glow 1 selected, Go to Inspector and underneath Controls, to spread the faint glow effect across your canvas more, increment the value for glow size. Here in this example I will increase this from 10 to 26. And to increase the intensity of the glow itself, I will increment the value for glow from 0.8 to 0.87. To spread the glow of the shine effect across your logo more, increment the value for blend. Here in this example I will increase this from 0.2 to 1. Connect Glow 1 to the foreground green arrow of Merge 1. Select Merge 1. Under Inspector and Merge, change the operator from Over to a Top, so that the shine effect only applies to the logo itself, and not the rest of the canvas. Return to Rectangle 1. Ensure that the red marker is positioned at the very start of your clip. Here in this example it will be Frame 0 which you can change manually by adjusting the number underneath the bottom right corner of your Fusion timeline. This frame reference along with the final frame number can be found underneath the bottom left corner of your Fusion timeline. In this particular animation, I wish for the shine effect to start from the left and work its way across to the right. I wish for this animation effect to appear after two seconds of screen time, with the whole animation lasting for approximately one second. Given the frame rate that we identified at the start of this tutorial of 24 for this particular clip, we need to ensure that this animation commences at the 48th frame, here in this case it will be frame 47. Before that we need to ensure that this shine effect is placed in its starting position on the left side of the canvas and not in view. With the left or right view option selected underneath Media Out 1 so that I can see a preview of the whole picture, and with Rectangle 1 selected under Inspector and Controls, I will change center X to 0.0, .0 so that my rectangle is positioned to the left away from the image and so therefore not in view. Select the keyframe diamond icon next to center X and Y so that we can apply these particular coordinates for the subsequent 2 seconds of screen time. I will now jump forward to the 2 second mark here, frame 47, and we'll click on the keyframe diamond icon next to center X and Y once again. 
I will now go forward on the timeline by one second, here in this case to frame 71, where I wish for my animation effect to end, and I will change center X to 1.0, where my rectangle now appears to the right and away from the logo itself. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.